What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. We are starting the year off with a bang. January 2nd, 2023 with a seasonal weapon for you guys in the Stasis Kinetic Pulse Rifle Disparity. Now this is in that heavy hard hitting slot with 450 RPM in the aggressive burst for rounds now this falls into place for one of the best pulse rifles for pve and pvp because of its perks and origin trait that it has on this so i want to go over both of those for y'all so you guys have plenty of time this season to grind out all of those heist battlegrounds get your serif keys decode all of that level up our nice clovis bray exoskeleton rasputin at the helm and get yourself a crafted disparity with these enhanced perks so starting off i want to go over the origin perks on this gun we have two of them first off we have ambush new to this season improves range handling and damage against combatants during opening moments of engagement so this is the first like five seconds of a fight and it's a nice little improvement to all of that now we do have hockey breach armaments so because this is a stasis weapon it's going to do that nice extra damage against vehicles turrets barricades and those stasis crystals so both of these are very good for this weapon First off, we're going to build out the PvP god roll for you guys with a couple different options because this thing does have a lot of very good perks in both the third and the fourth column. So first off for the PvP god roll, we're going to go with small board right here, giving us that plus seven to stability and range. So this thing can reach out there up to about 40 meters when you really crank on the range. And with that extra stability, with that heavy burst, you can absolutely absolutely laser people with this thing in those fights now building onto that for that range so we can really really kind of crank out those enemies at a little farther distance we're going with accurized rounds giving us again that plus 10 range to this weapon like i said having that nice peek in and out of cover you're able to laser people with this weapon for the third column right here, I'm going to go over three options which I have been using and testing out inside of the Crucible. First off, we have Rapid Hit right here, so every time we get precision shots, we have that reload speed and stability stacking up to plus 25 for stability. So that is pretty, pretty nice, especially with the Enhanced Perks. They also give a couple additional points to stability as well. Next off in the third column, we have Eye of the Storm a pretty universal pvp perk so when our health gets low we get that handling and the weapon becomes more accurate so during those fights where it's a nice good shootout between you and a fellow guardian you can do some work with eye of the storm getting that nice accuracy cone being quite quite crispy Last but not least, I want to go with moving target. So that nice movement speed and target acquisition while you're moving while aiming down sights. I usually go for this inside a PVP as well for my options, just because I always say it, you're pretty much always moving inside of the crucible. And if you aren't, then that kind of seems like a waste of this perk. And just in general crucible, not about camping, it's supposed to be moving around, sliding around those corners. So this definitely, you can feel that movement and target acquisition with this compared to having some of our other perks moving on to our last column for pvp right here we're first going to go with kill clip this is kind of more of a sixes in my personal opinion just because when you have that reload going on and in threes it's not super worth it but it can come in handy in something like trials i do have a messenger that i have kill clip on that i also like but we do have two better perks in my opinion for this category so one of my two better perks is this head seeker right here so those body shots with this weapon increase precision damage so when we have that four round burst we can hit a couple bodies and then those precision shots really really start to do damage so it also gives us five stability so we can just absolutely map people like i have said before with this inside a crucible at some of those farther ranges 
And finally, the last PvP perk that I think y'all should try for, definitely my god roll is rapid hit with this Desperado right here. So after reloading those precision final blows, you get that super high rate of fire. And when this thing gets revved up, you can absolutely just melt everybody on a fire team. Super, super great perk and very fun to see it on different weapons besides just the messenger from Trials. So definitely definitely be going for my personal opinion rapid hit with desperado but any of those other perks i talked about in the third and fourth column for pvp work just as well now moving on to the pve side of things first off we're going to go with corkscrew rifling the jack of all trades perks for me one of my favorite for this column gives us stability range and handling just helps us switch between this our grenade launcher or heavy whatever we can be using plus it gives us that little boost to range and stability to help us with that flinch because we're usually getting shot a lot inside of the pve realm now for me, for PvE, I'm going with Tactical Mag in that second column because it gives us positives for reload speed, stability, and magazine size. Not as much as a pended mag in the magazine size, but this one gives both reload and stability extra where a pended mag doesn't. So in my personal opinion, for PvE, definitely should be going for Tactical Mag in that second slot. Now slightly different for the PvE god roll, Outlaw right here in the third column is I think probably the only one you can go with. Rapid hit isn't too too shabby if you're using something like Frenzy, but I truly think Outlaw is the best perk in this column for PvE. On those precision final blows, you get that gnarly reload speed and it has a nice increased duration if you do that enhanced side of things when we craft this and with the perks in the fourth column that you can choose from i think this just outshines all the other perks in the third column now last but not least in the fourth column for pve we got three perks again that i think are very good for that realm first off one for all one of my favorite pve perks hitting those three separate targets gives us a nice 35 percent damage increase for a couple seconds so this is nice when there's a lot of ads going on especially when you have outlaw procced and you're getting those precision final blows you can deal a good amount of damage in a very short period of time with that 35 percent increase now second you can also go with frenzy in this column so being in combat for a little while you get that nice increase in damage but you also get handling and reload as well it's only 15 percent increase in damage but you do feel that nice reload and handling when you have this on so it's not too big of an increase but it does help because you are basically always in combat in pve and finally here what i would go with my god roll having outlaw and headstone those precision final blows spawn stasis crystals on those deaths so it's very easy to pair and have that synergy with stasis subclass like i have on my titan here creating diamond lance and it pairs perfectly with outlaw because both of those proc on those precision final blows so for me that is what i would go with for my god god roll but having frenzy or stats for all is a very solid choice as well so this one is a very good go-to for the season this and the retrofit grade lmg definitely my two first crafted weapons from this season leveling up as we speak to get those enhanced perks on them we'll be doing a video on that lmg very very soon so hopefully this helps you guys out pick which perks you want on this weapon and you can get to grinding it and crafting it as soon as possible happy new year to all y'all appreciate that support i'll catch you guys in the next one peace